वेलकम टू जोलॉजिस मोसिन होप यू आर फाइन वी आर सर्चिंग वी आर लर्निंग एंड वी आर राइजिंग हेयर इज अनदर वैल्यू ऑडिशन टू द नॉलेज द रेप्टाइल्स द क्रीपिंग क्रिएचर्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी शेल लर्न सर्वाइवल चैलेंजेस ऑन लैंड बाय रेप्टाइल्स ऑर्डर्स ऑफ रेप्टाइल्स सम मॉडर्न एज वेल एज सम एक्सटिंक्ट ऑर्डर्स key features of reptiles which have made them successful on land brief history of evolution living orders with features and some important and shocking information about reptiles which must be remembered by everyone so let's start how reptiles succeed on land here are five basic features which help reptiles to become successful and dominant on land you must remember the abbreviation lush l l s s h lush the first l stand for legs evolution of legs to support body and to run legs have helped a lot to live and survive on land to avoid predation to search for reproductive partners as well as to search for food the second l stand for lungs to breathe efficiently the ribs are used to push air in and out to enhance the exchange of gases with the blood the s stand for shell mean their eggs are covered with hard shells to prevent them from drying out the second s is for scales skin of reptiles is covered with dry scales made of keratin to reduce water loss the h stand for heart which has become more efficient to circulate blood to supply food to the body to supply oxygen as well as to get rid of the waste products of the excretion the next one is uh, orders of reptiles now we shall overview the living orders as well as some extinct orders the living orders include squamata rhynchocephalia chelonia and crocodilia squamata include lizards and snakes about 6200 species of lizard and 3500 species of snakes so the largest group of reptiles is lizards rhynchocephalia include tuatarus only one species chelonia turtles tortoises 340 species crocodilia crocodiles alligators caimans and gharials etc all are included in the crocodilia 25 species here are some extinct orders ornithischia saurischia tyrosauria plesiosauria as ichthyosauria uh, you must remember these names saurischia or tyrannosaurs are the ancestors of today's birds remember this the next one are the key features of reptiles the three basic key features which have helped a lot to survive and to dominate on land number one is amniotic egg the second one is dry skin and the third one is thoracic breathing amniotic egg is uh, telolecithal telolecithal mean the yolk is concentrated in a single sac in a single part of the egg not spread all over the egg remember it shell to prevent drying there are four basic layers present in the amniotic egg amnion chorion allantois and yolk sac we have discussed the functions of these layers in our previous lecture you can watch dry skin covered with scales made of keratin protect from drying as well as physical injury hard and rough to be predated the third one is thoracic breathing expanding and contracting ribs to pull and push air in and out increase the exchange with blood to enhance supply of oxygen to the tissues the next uh, we are going to discuss is evolution here is a brief uh, in, uh, points about evolution you will remember easily and they must be remember they dominated about 250 million years on earth remember that 250 million years they remain king of the land based on opening behind the eyes in the skull they are classified into anapsids without opening synapsids single opening diapsids two openings synapsids have single opening behind eye orbit in skull like uh, pelecosaurs here is a diagram you can see 
the first hole in front is orbit and the behind orbit there is a single hole so the organisms in the fossils which had single hole a single opening behind the orbit opening are included in the synapsids theropsids were mammal like reptiles also belong to synapsids remember it diapsids have two pairs of holes on each side of the skull here is a diagram you can see two holes behind the orbit hole in the skull so these kind of organisms are included in the diapsid crocodiles and birds were evolved from archosaurs a diapsid remember it dinosaurs became extinct about 65 million years ago why they become extinct suddenly there are many hypotheses the most famous is of a meteorite striking with the earth and creating a huge clouds of dust etc and that dust kills all the dinosaurs suddenly the next one is few general features number one is internal fertilization due to hard egg shell you can imagine easily that if hard egg shell is not fertilized yet and is ha is uh, uh, expelled out of the body how sperms will enter in it to fertilize so it is necessary that fertilization must take place before the formation of hard egg shell so that's why their fertilization is internal circulatory system is improved by partial septum in ventricle which partially separate oxygenated blood from deoxygenated blood remember that in amphibians we observe that there is no partition at all and there is a single ventricle which have mixed blood both oxygenated and deoxygenated here is also blood is mixed with each other in the ventricle but a slight partition enhance the separation and oxygenated mean remain oxygenated and deoxygenated remain oxygenated deoxygenated the next one is all living reptiles are ectothermic ectothermic mean they absorb heat from external sources like sunlight and some other sources jacobson's organs are chemoreceptors they detect smell uh, olfaction and they don't uh, detect smell directly but the tongue helps them to collect Uh, scent particles or scent chemicals from uh, environment and then these are sent to jacob some organs to analyze and to find and to determine what kind of smell or scent is that the next we are going to discuss uh, some uh, salient features of all the living orders one by one the first one is chelonia turtles and tortoises lack teeth but sharp beaks used to grab and break so if you are asked that which organisms of the reptiles don't have teeth so you can immediately say that turtles and tortoises the next one is bodies are encased within a shell with two layers external dorsal is carapace while ventral is plastron <clears throat> vertebrae and ribs are fused to carapace to so carapace is the external shell which you can see on turtles and tortoises and some uh, also hide themselves under that shell chelonia midas is an uh, uh, organism is a green atlantic turtle which travel about 2000 km to legs from brazil to ascension island where he was born so imagine that 2000 km traveling just for breeding the next order is rhynchocephalia tuatarus or sphenodon remember these names only a single living species almost half a meter long and resemble lizard found only in coast of new zealand the feature which distinguish this from lizard is the third eye on top of the head called parietal eye has a lens and retina connected with brain and it is thought that this eye help to absorb intensity of light and tell the organism that where to stay and from where to escape they form a group lepidosauria with lizards and snakes mean that lizard snakes and tuatarus collectively form lepidosauria remember 
Rats were the major enemy of the Duodarus in main islands of New Zealand when humans reached there about 750 years ago. Rats eat their eggs and uh, don't allow them to propagate or flourish in the race. The next order is Squamata, snakes and lizards, terror. Two copulatory organs in the male to insert sperm into female vagina or reproductive tract. Largest lizards belong to monitor family, the Komodo dragon in Indonesia, which may reach up to 3 meter in length and 100 kilogram in weight. Just imagine. Only two species of lizards are venomous, mean poisonous. Gila monster and beaded lizard, these two are poisonous lizards. An old skinks and geckos has the ability to shed off their tail and to regenerate tail to escape from uh, predators. The next one is Crocodilia. Crocodiles, alligators, caimans and ghadiyals all are included in the order Crocodilia. Crocodiles are nocturnal, mean that they are nightingales. They uh, do their predation and move in night, not in daylight. Only two species of alligators, one in USA and one in China competition. Gadals are fish eating crocodilians, remember it. All are carnivores, mean all crocodiles are uh, alligators or caimans or gadals are carnivores. A valve in the back of mouth prevents water entry into air passage while engulfing in water. So just imagine that if you need to engulf something in water, what will you do? Crocodiles re resemble more with birds. Here are some interesting facts about reptiles which will shock you as well as Burn out your mind. Number one, tortoise like Aldabra can live about 150 years. Imagine. Snakes and lizards flick their tongues to absorb scent and then analyze it with Jacobson's organs. You may have seen a snake flicking his tongue regularly out in, out in. He is doing to absorb some scent particles to detect whether any prey or predator is all around. Chameleon can change their body color due to temperature, threat or emotion. Snakes shed their skin due to growth. Reticulated pythons can grow up to 30 feet. Rattlesnakes give birth to their young ones. A crocodile cannot stick its tongue out. Wow! Tortoises were sent to moon in zone 5 prior to man. Shocking? Search it on or google it. Well, thanks for watching. That was all for today. You are requested to please subscribe Zoologist Mosin for more upcoming updates like this and your biology love and your biology learning will inshallah at its peak. Thanks for watching. Stay blessed. Good night.